it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with reorganizing my pantry as you can see it was organized about a year ago I went to Dollar Tree grabbed all Dollar Tree products to organize with and it is packed full at this point you know over a year it gets cluttered and we just start throwing stuff in there and nothing is organized anymore I have some new containers that I'm going to be using along with the same ones I love these white ones so I have new little labels and everything. So I'm so excited to show it with you guys. This video is gonna be kind of long, so I am gonna speed up parts of it. Like right now, we're gonna empty out every single item in this pantry. We're gonna pull it out and put it on my kitchen floor so we can go through it. Things could have been expired. We have a lot, a lot. I even have extra plates, dishes, everything at the bottom. It's kind of like my little storage area along with the pantry. Kaya will be helping me, but we're not going to be talking through this section. It's going to be sped up, right? That's a word. <laughs> it's going to be going really fast, so it won't take so long in the video. So this is not like an hour-long video, because it's going to take a while to get this project done. I've been holding it all for a long time, but we're going to get to it. It's Saturday. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. And grab you a cup of coffee, some tea, some anything. Um, some wine <laughs> if, if you're watching this in the evening, but we're gonna jump in right now So if you see us Talking, but it's going really fast and there's music over it It's just because we're having to speed up the video to get all of this stuff out. So here we go. Come on, Kaya <laughs> This is gonna speed
That's real life, y'all. It's a lot of mess out of the pantry. <laughs> Kai is helping me sweep. So we got everything. Let me show you. The whole pantry is empty. It goes so high. I wish we had more, um, more levels. I meant more, yeah, more levels put on there. So I'm going to wipe down some things real quick. But that is our pantry. Kai swept it for me. So now we're going to start with going through all the food. Let me turn around and show you all the food. Are y'all ready for this? She's sweeping. Are y'all ready for what was in the pantry? Just take a look. Just take a look. Oh my gosh. Seeing it on the camera is even more crazy. Looks like we just moved in with I don't know how much food. A lot is containers. That's dishes and all containers. But the food right here, the amount of box food, and those are all bags, paper towels, containers. So I gotta go through all my containers, see what I'm using, and all these boxes, cereal boxes. See if we can get rid of a lot of this clutter. This is crazy. This is a lot. So overwhelming. I gotta turn some music on and get going. Hope this motivates somebody to. <laughs> That's a faux lemon right there. It came out of my little bucket. But this is it. See the before? I'm at the middle. <laughs> this is the middle. And then I will show you when it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, the music. Okay, so I got this from Dollar Tree. It's the Pinalyn Max Aromas. And it only takes a little bit. I have like three bottles of this, so it's good to use it up. I need to mop so bad. Um, so I got this. Where did I get this? From Walmart or Target? I forgot. But it is nice. And we're about to mop the floor in here. So, yeah. We're going to do that. Oops. Comes with this. Kai's probably going to do it for me. I'm going to do some. Just do this. Get it, all the stuff in it. Really nice. Soapy. And then you put it here. And it has this little foot lever right here. You just, oops. You just push on it like that. Get all the soap out. And then you mop with it. Kai. Okay, all right, she'll do it. Kai's gonna come do it. And then uh, we're gonna mop and I'll show you next. See if it can wipe the back of that wall right there. Go. <laughs> and this is what we use, classic. This is from Dollar Tree Bleach Kitchen Cleaner. Love this stuff, but it will bleach. So I use it for my white sinks and it will help with these and dust. And we're gonna try the back of the wall. I do have a magic eraser, so we'll have to try that as well.
Okay, so we are cleaning the back walls right here. I can't find my magic eraser, so we're using this. It has some Clorox on it, and it is getting the spots up, not perfectly. Kai's already wiped these down. So we are finishing this, get the wall nice and clean. So it's all fresh. Kai, did you get this top right? I'm gonna go down here. Move you down here to where I'm at. Watch these baseboards. Let's turn this right. And I'm wiping down here on these baseboards. She said she mopped. There's still spots on the floor. This is one of those durable, durable cloths from Dollar Tree. It's really nice. Some of these spots are paint spots. We're gonna get a good cleaning. There we go. Alright, if you hear cheers in the background, Kai is practicing her cheers. But I just wanted to show you what this really looks like and how overwhelming it is. This is beyond overwhelming. This is all of the food that we had in the pantry. Look at all of this. Some's trash. There's some empty boxes, as you can see. This whole pile, I had to wash all of the white bins. Leave in the comments below if you have bought these white bins before and it leaves a black residue. I've showed earlier in this video. They're not like, it's not dust, it's not dirt. When you first buy them, it comes once you have it and you bring it home, it has like this black residue. But anyway, I have washed and bleached them. So those are all freshly clean, freshly bleached, took all the tags, everything off. Um, and so now the organization will begin. And putting things into clear bins, I'll turn this around. All of these, those were all the cereal bins. These are all the clear plastic new ones that I wanna use for sugar not sugar sorry yeah for grits for pancake mix stuff like that and trail mix i think i'm still going to use the cereal but i'm going to keep the cereal either in the bag that it comes in and just put it in this container or put it in a big ziploc bag and put the ziploc bag like in the container i'm not sure i just don't want it to go stale because we end up wasting if it's not eight in time but this is what i have um so far this is what it's looking like y'all this is a big production like <laughs> this is a big production all right so we're going to be going through all of this stuff we got canned goods right here so we're going to check expiration dates on these this pumpkin stuff is so good it was from dollar tree but i do need to check the expiration Good to 2021, that is good. These clearance, because they're bent, I just need to make sure these are good. Yep, 21. So these are sliced peaches. Oh my gosh, look at this can. <laughs> let's see how much this can is. I meant, let's see, oh, 2020, 2020. But look at this can, but this was in the wrong one. See, a lot are in the wrong. So I have this. Actually, I need to rinse this out. I need to rinse these out now. These, these still get, if you can look at it, look. This plastic still gets that black film on it. I don't know what that is. If it's a powder that they put on it after you buy it, but I'm gonna have to rinse these too. So I'm gonna do that before I add all these back. So this is gonna be my fruit bin, all fruits. So this is fruit, fruit and this is good too. Yep, 21. So all of those are good. 
Fruit Cocktail 2021. We got cranberry sauce. That is a fruit as well. This is 20. That's good. And this is good. All of actually all my food food should be good because uh, when we moved here, I went through all of it, and that was a couple years ago, and so it should be fine. But I'm going to wash these now. Okay, guys, I am starting to put things back in the pantry. I am using these. Even though this is a wire shelf, it does fit for me to put my extra plates that I do not use on a daily basis. These are for, like, Easter, for just holidays, Christmas, and I have all my chargers back there. On I have two of these, so I have a total of three of these. And um, now I'm going to put my lemon plates on this one. My lemon and my cherry plates on this one. So I'm going to set it right here. But I did notice these were a little dusty. So I'm going to dust these real quick. Because they have been sitting there. I should probably just take them out like this. I did those two. You'll see, I just use one of these, put it right on the wires. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it, it works. It holds them. I'm just going to just start lining them up in there. It's going to get top heavy. one right there and then for these I have Dollar Tree plates have the lemon ones I got last year dust them off these are so pretty I got this last year um, and they're so pretty it's perfect season for them right now they are stunning look at them so I'm gonna put these probably two or three how many did I get of each I'm gonna put them together I'm going to dust them and so let's see there's two, four, six, put about I have to do it like that. Okay, so I'm going to be using these chalkboard uh, labels chalkboard labels six count and I'm gonna use them I got these from Target after Christmas they were on clearance you got four for a dollar I believe it was like 90 for they might have been 10 cents honestly it was like uh, let me see how much if it was a dollar yeah I think they were 10 cents but I got lots of them and they also had these for the um, what do you call it the hot chocolate bar I probably won't use any of these because these just say coffee sugar and stuff like I could use the one that says cookies and put that on the container um, not sure I might save this for my and I got this too this was a dollar from the Dollar General it says um, green tea all oh, this is drinks so I might save that but I'm definitely using the chalkboard stickers from the Target dollar spot they were only like 10 cents for a pack of six and I use I got this from the Dollar Tree it's a jot paint pen and it is the white so hopefully it will write good on this we will have to see but I'm hoping I'm hoping it does that it's the kind that you shake up they have all different colors but I grabbed the white the gold and silver but we will see but these are the labels that I'm going to use for the buckets and I'm going through stuff right now getting it in it's packed like we got popcorn we got granola bars um we got what's that this is one of those perfect size snore cake we got uh fruit strips just getting things kind of organized and then i'm going through my canned goods right now to see what's good what's not and i'll wash the canned good containers there so just kind of getting things organized we had to mop some more but that's in there so far this is a big task y'all a big task i'm working on my saturday my day off but 
And these are more containers that I could use. I might use this one right here for bread. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have this sitting in here seeing if I want to put this in there of all my extra like peanut butter, sunflower butter, extra barbecue, extra uh, ketchup. Ketchup with a little water in on top. It's never been open. But, um, and this is my vanilla syrup. Um, sesame oil. Just some of these things that I use that I have extras of or that just go in the pantry. Wipe that top off. I'm trying to wipe off all but bottles that are sticky. We also got our caramel. I just had to wipe this one down. Caramel. And I gotta get put these in there too. Well, this one's gone. Look at this. They left this in the cabinet. It's gone. You see it scraped at the bottom? And Kaya just informed me that she's been scraping. She eats this with the puff. You can get this at Dollar Tree. You can get this jet puffed at Dollar Tree and these at Dollar Tree. So she's been, that one's done. <laughs> that one's done. It's scraped. She might can take a spoon in there and scrape more. And this one's full. I guess they did not like the cookie butter. But they liked these the hazelnut and vanilla so they like that this is still a full jar of cookie butter i guess they didn't like that but i'm going through all the canned goods and i'm about to start drying these and uh bella ma'am what are you doing ma'am she's wondering what's going on the cats are like what is going on in this kitchen we are cooking in here look how clean it is in there she don't know what to do but yes yeah, so instead of these containers, I'm switching out containers and not using these labels. So I will show you that. I have so much stuff from Dollar Tree when they went on sale and its name brand. It just makes you want to grab it. Hopefully this is not expired. Let's see. Is that October 20th, 2018? Or is that October 18th, 2020? Uh-oh. Hmm, because you know, sometimes they have it backwards. So we'll have to see about that one. I thought I recently got these, but maybe I got them over Christmas. Maybe I did, no? I don't know, we'll have to check that out. Because it says, I still have henna on my hands, guys. But it says October 2018. I don't know if it's October, I don't know. We will have to see cat right here this is what i'm dealing with no kaya she got another marshmallow can you please come get the bag of marshmallows come here come get the bag of marshmallows i don't even know if they're okay for a cat please she's gotten like six in her mouth it's not funny look she's playing with it can you please grab the bag and throw the ones away that she played with and wrap it up i'm gonna have to put them but here's the trash right here or that one bella no ma'am She's playing with something. She's got a marshmallow. She's got it in her mouth. She's got it in her mouth. She's going to hide it. Go get it. Okay, so I'm writing down the things I'm going to put on the containers. So these are the different ones. I got to cut them in half. Got sauces, soups, beans, veggies. That is all the canned goods.
Okay guys, so here is after. I have literally, I don't know if you can tell a difference, but I have been working on this pantry for over five hours. It is Saturday and I have literally spent my entire Saturday on the kitchen floor. Right here, I just mopped it where you saw all of that stuff on the floor. It is now gone, put away, and I spent my entire Saturday. Now, I needed to get it done. I wanted to get it done, but I cannot believe it took this long. It seriously took forever. Kaya only helped for a little bit, and then she practiced cheer. She had other things she had to do. Oh my gosh, so let me show you. Uh, I'm happy it's done, but oh my goodness, that took forever. So we'll just start at the bottom. I've showed you guys a couple times. That's all my extra plates and chargers and stuff like that. That is my three pot um, crock pot. And then I have my bags, both bags there, foil sheets there. And then I relabeled these, went through everything. So we have like side dishes. These are all like stuffing, cornbread. And then this is more sides, which is like rice and potatoes, like fast rice or potato things. And then right here is noodles or like quick dinners like tuna or chicken, but they're noodles. Then right here we have our snacks, which is like dried fruit or these little mini bars or crackers or these little cheese sticks, regular crackers, pretzels, let's see, and popcorn and gummies. We have these fruit strips. But so this is our snack bin right here. This is sweet, so right now we don't actually have a lot of sweets right now. We just have marshmallows and graham crackers. And then for the breakfast, we have grits, oatmeal, like breakfast bars, granola bars, and granola crunch. And then bread, we're actually low on bread. I gotta go grocery shopping. I got buns and a little bit of bread left. This is stuff for tacos. We got the tri-color tortillas, um, taco shells, so that stuff for just taco stuff. And then this is different crust, um, like the coating for chicken. We got crust, Southwest, panko, shake and bake, panko crumbs. So that's like a bunch of different crust. Right here on the wall, we have our packet seasonings. We got hot chocolate, milk chocolate, just little soup things. This is for gravy, grill mates, um, shepherd's pie. And then I think there's chili back here. Yeah, mild chili. So just different seasonings right there. Uh, this little container is from the Dollar Tree. Every container in here is from the Dollar Tree. So you can do a lot with a little bit. My dishes, even those, the lemon and the cherry are from Dollar Tree. Uh, those are not, but um, those, are, those were on clearance at TJ Maxx. But as we go back up here, we have our cereals. So what I did with the cereals is I took them out of the box, but kept them in the bag and put the whole bag in the containers. Because like I said, they do go stale. That's some extra cereal that I had there. Um, so we have our cereals there. And then this is a bin for chips. There's a bag of chips in there. This is just all my extra stuff. That just stays up there. I pulled it out, but I just re put it up there nice and neatly. And then down here, I have these little containers. I have the sunflower seeds, cranberries. I put some pretzels in here, put the big bag in the chip bucket, and then honey roasted nuts there. And then right here, I use these containers that can go in your refrigerator for soda cans and used it for my canned goods. And this one is more like for cakes and icings and we got pudding and icing in there. This is the soups. This is the sauces. This one is the beans. This one is the fruits. This one is the veggies, corn, peas, green beans, things like that. Down here we have our pastas. So we have lasagna, spaghetti, macaroni and cheese. And then this container right here, these are all like dinner kits. So freezer to plate dinner kits or hamburger helper or a soup mix um, or suddenly salad. So these are like dinner kits. These are all, this one and this one are all my, like, cakes or um, this, let's see, this is oatmeal bars, all the sweet stuff. This is, and most of these are from Dollar Tree. That's the Krispy Kreme cake. This is the Betty's Original German Chocolate Cake. 
and snowball cookies. So we have those. And then in here is like sugar cookie mix, oat chewy bar mix, Reese's, all of that. So it's all like sweets. <laughs> Both of those bins are sweets. That is crazy. Um, and then we these are what I wanted to use instead of, I had smaller ones of the these right here that I were, that I, oh my gosh, I cannot talk, that I was using for this. Um, but I wanted to switch it out. I love these containers. And so I put breadcrumbs, pancake mix, powdered sugar, brown sugar, grits. And then back there I have self-rising flour and cornmeal. And I just wanted the secure top to keep it nice and moist inside of there instead of getting dried out or stale. And then right here I have our spreads. So we have peanut butter, cookie butter, caramel, uh, vanilla, just... And here's any extra sauce. I have syrup, I have teriyaki marinade, marinade I have um, vegetable oil, ketchup, I have the Kiko and stir fry sauce. So any of my like sauces, I have barbecue sauce in there. So it is finished and this took me forever. It took me, oh, over here. This is the extra sugars. I have brown sugar and powdered sugar in here, like baking stuff. And this is baking as well. I think I put baking. Yeah, baking. So I have my flour. I have um, cake flour. I have pancake mix and all the extras that wouldn't fit in here. Um, so that is it. That is my pantry. And, and, and this took me forever. But we got it all together. I know y'all might think it looks the same. But to me, it's a lot more clean. Everything has a spot and we still have a lot, but it just looks a lot cleaner now. So that is my pantry. Probably need to get two more of those and put them right there just because I like it to look even all the way around. But that is my pantry. It is done. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much for watching. This might be a really long video, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'm about to go sit down and relax because I'm tired. As you guys know, I work a full-time job. Came today, Thursday, oh, sorry, Thursday, Saturday, and this took my entire day. But it's satisfying to see a nice pantry that looks like this. But that is it. Bye, everyone. Love you guys.